Hi Clue community, I'm Johannes, one of the founder of Clue, and today I want to show you how to mount your Clue binding on your board. In this video, you'll see how to mount the binding on 4x4, 2x2, or channel system. Let's start with the basic setting of your binding so that it fits perfectly to your boot. Take your binding and your boot. We will still need the snowboard later. First, loosen the two straps from the binding. Then you put your boot into the binding. Make sure that the heel of the boot's nicely positioned at the back of the high back. The ankle strap should be adjusted so that the strap rests in the middle of your boot. You can adjust it like this. By loosening the screw for this and lengthening the strap a bit, Toe strap should also be nicely centered at the top of your boot. Now the straps are adjusted. Next, let's take a look at the footbed. In my case, you can see that the boot's already sticking out very far over the binding. That means we have to push the footbed out a little further. First, lift the footbed at the red mark. Now, you could push the footbed slightly forward. To fix it, press the footbed from above. Next, check the adjustment. Now you can see that the distance in the front and in the back is the same, as we want it. Next, we mount the binding on the board. All you need is the binding, the snowboard, a screwdriver, a meter stick, and your boot. First of all, it's important to know which foot you're standing with on the front of the board. You can find a video about this on our YouTube channel. Next, we need to measure the distance of both feet on the board. Put a yardstick in front of you, stand loosely wide-legged on the measurement, and take the distance. Now, take your board and place the binding on the board at the distance you just measured with the yardstick. Also, position the binding in the middle of the board. It should have the same distance to the edge of the snowboard at the front and back. Use the 0, plus 1, plus 2, and minus 1, minus 2 marks to position the screw and align your binding. Do not tighten the screws too much, but turn them slightly so that the base can still move. To tighten the binding, we recommend that you turn the screws diagonally to each other. Now, adjust the angle of your binding. On the disc, you'll find degree numbers and a small arrow, which helps you to set the exact degree of your binding. Most of us on the team ride with the front foot at 15 degrees and the back at minus 9 degrees. Rotate the binding to the appropriate degrees. Now, you can tighten your binding completely. You mount the binding on the back foot in the same way. Just pay attention to the other angle. Now, I'll show you how to mount the binding on the board if you have a channel system. For this, you need these special channel screws from the package. Again, we first align the binding on the board so that it's centered on the board. For this, we use these holes on the disc. These two holes are centered on the disc. But as you can see, these two holes are off-center. So they move your binding either further forward or backward, depending on how you turn the disc. See which holes fit best to center your binding on the board. Again, don't tighten the screws too much, but tighten them slightly so you can still move the base to adjust the angle. And with that, we're done. If you have any questions, write it in the comments or scan the QR code on your manual. Have fun and keep riding.